actually. I got the wrong show. Presentation is everything. The last plot we all been waiting for. 5591 Dixie Narco. What's happening? Welcome to the VMRS channel. Today, we will be putting in a compressor for a 5591. So if you're not familiar with the 5591 Dixie Narco, let me give you a quick rundown. There are five rolls in this machine, two of which me personally, I put canned sodas on the first two rolls. The next three rolls I use for bottles, and if, depending on the location, they request Monster or Rear Bulls, I'll put those at the bottom as well. Um, it's a glass front machine. So, all selections that a customer makes, they see, and they also see it drop into the slider so they can pick it up once they make their purchase. Unlike other drink machines with the arm bottles, which I personally don't like in here, that they're headaches because of the arm, I stay away from it. So, if I had to choose any drink machine that shows all drinks, I would go with the 5591 Dixie Narco. But, let's get straight into it and start putting this compressor in. So first things first, make sure all power to the machine is off. Don't want anyone getting electrocuted. What I have to do is remove the items from the machine before placing the actual compressor into the machine. The best way to insert this compressor is literally pulling it forward because it's so heavy. And then against the machine, like you see I'm doing, I'm taking these two handles here, and just sliding it right in. So as you can see, Compressor is now in, in position. So next what we need to do is start making sure that it's properly secured and putting back the shelves and all items required. All right, so now that we have the compressor placed and everything's ready to be plugged in and secured, we need to first make sure that the actual power cord to the compressor is ready to be routed through the hole where the main power outlet is and I want to do that let's remove this first let's remove these here see that hole there this is where you can push the power to and then make your way over here you'll see it now the power cord is very very on you know different compressors so if yours doesn't look like this orange one don't worry And now your compressor is plugged into the power outlet. So once all your compressor components are in the right place, you want to make sure you have this exact compressor. These two screws, one right here and one right here, are screwed in and secured, uh, which I'm about to do. So let's do that. So compressor is in, secured. Now I guess we're going the upper part.
All right, so now we have this part back on. We have our compressor secured. Now it's time to do the last part of the compressor process. Um, as you can see, these parts need to get put back on, which I need to finish screwing and securing them to the actual machine itself, as you can see here. Uh, so let's do that. Alright, last part, just need to add the cover. Alright, so now that we have our compressor in, everything secured, tight, and running properly, we want to place our shelves back in. Best thing to do, and I always get this confused, is work my way from the top to bottom, but in reality, you want to work your way from the bottom to the top. So I'm gonna grab my first shelf. You want to kind of put it on the tilt. So we can go in easy. And actually, I got the wrong shelf. This is the second to last shelf, so let's swap. I got my E shelf. So that way I don't have to go through the trouble of switching out all the tags because it's the wrong placement. All right, let's do it now. Each shelf is in. Now we want to put the cord through the hole. And this is the same hole that we will place our D shelf cord in as well. All right, so we got our E shelf in. Let's do our D. All right, so last thing that we want to do, we want to put in the bottle drop. We want to put that back inside of the machine once we have our shelves adjusted um, how they're supposed to be. So let's do that. All you have to do is just pick it up. It's not too heavy. And you literally just slide it in. If your bottle drop is properly in as it should be, you should be able to easily close the door. Twist. So that confirms that everything's in place properly as it should be. And now what I'm gonna do is just a nice little wipe down I like to do after repairing and refurbishing our machines. So let's do it. Simple Home Depot Kleenex wipes. Presentation is everything.
now. For the last plot, we all been waiting for. Turn this on, hear that compressor kick in. And there we go. 5591 Dixie Narco. So now everything's plugged up, running. Let's check it out. Sweet old sound we like to hear. Nice, good working compressor. Items in and connected. Field validator connected. Coin met connected as well. We hear that nice refreshing sound. Compressor. working as it should be. This is how we install a Dixie Narco 5591 compressor. Thank y'all for watching the video. Please don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like the video as well as any other videos on the channel. If y'all have any suggestions or videos y'all might like to see, just contact me, let me know. Until next time, peace.